hello everyone welcome back to my channel here i am back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you how to make a mixed subsy so if you're interested then just keep on watching so for the subsy these are the vegetables that i'm using today you can use whatever vegetables that you like here i have some white onions that i've chopped up i think i've taken one large white onion and this is one, two large tomatoes that I have chopped up. And next I have some green bell pepper and I cut up one whole jalapeno for some spice. If you don't like it spicy, you can just omit that. Here I have some frozen vegetables that I use, which have some green beans, carrots, and corn, and peas. You can just buy that in the freezer aisle of the grocery section. Um, now I have some potatoes which I've cut into small pieces and here I have some spices which I'll get into uh, in just a bit. So I'm just adding some oil to the pan. I like to add about like two tablespoons of oil. I feel like, you know, when you have some oil, the subsy tastes really good. And to the oil, I'm adding a black cumin seed mixture along with just the regular cumin seeds and some rye. And I'm just going to let that get some color in the oil and get let the oil get nice and hot. After the cumin seeds and rye seeds have gotten some color on it, I'm going to go ahead and drop my onions in and let them sit in the oil and let them just get nice and golden brown. As you can see that my onions have developed some color. Um, make sure you guys do this step. I feel like it really, you know, enhances the dish really nicely. And after my, I have to, after I brown my onions, I'm going to go ahead and add my tomatoes to the mixture. Adding tomatoes gives like a really good body to um, the subsy. It kind of makes it a gravy like, and that's why I add them. And um, you can omit it if you don't if you don't like tomatoes. I so here is the list of ingredients that I have added to the tomatoes. You can go ahead and, you know, do less or more of these ingredients as to your liking. And I'm just going to let those ingredients just, you know, fry up the spices with the tomato and the oil. And after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water, which kind of helps everything just kind of mix together really nicely. And I'm going to let this mixture um you know just cook off for a little bit here i have let that mixture cook off as you can see it releases a little bit of its oils and now is the time for us to go ahead and add our vegetables so first i'm just going to add the jalapenos and the green bell peppers I'm going to add all the mixed vegetable melody that I had gotten and lastly I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes go ahead and just mix this really well and let everything incorporate let everything get married together you know just mix 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 so this is something that I do uh, in my mixed subsy and it adds really great flavor. I go ahead and add like a Maggi cube or like a Nor cube uh, and then I add some water and it, as it dissolves it adds great flavor. So after a while now I've cooked my subsy for about 30 minutes and in about 30-35 minutes as you can see the potatoes have cooked and that's how I know my subsy is done. I'm just going to dish my subsy out now. It looks wonderful. You can cook it as much as you want or as little as you'd like and you can top it off with some cilantro as I am doing here. Um, this is an amazing subsy that I learned when I went with, to Pakistan with my husband and uh, this, this, uh, this chef taught me this recipe and it was just amazing and this is how I make my subsy every time. All right, everyone, that is all for today. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys try this recipe out. 
and please give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please get go ahead and do so and i hope to see you guys all back here very soon